Hello. Today uh, we're going to be showing how to do proper wine service. This is going to be for a regular bottle of cork red wine, uh, which is going to differentiate from champagne or chill white wine service or any kind of corkscrew cap. Yep, we're going to start. And this is going to be my trainee. That's the one I'll be showing and walking through the wine service today. So first, you're going to come out with the wine. You're going to want to walk out uh, with the wine laying down to make sure the wine is in contact with the cork. And you're going to show it to the hostess or the host who has ordered it. You're going to start by uh, introducing the wine, making sure it's correct. You'll say the name of the winery and then the vintage and then uh, also if applicable, the vineyard or region or varietal. Tima Malbec, 2013. And once she has verified it is in fact the correct wine, we'll begin the wine service. You'll start by taking your waiter's corkscrew, that's going to be out of this tool here, and pulling out the small serrated knife. And we're going to pretend that the foil isn't already cut here. So you're going to take the knife and try to do it in as few clean cuts as possible. Just like uh, she's doing here, just two cuts to keep the label uh, facing the hostess under the second lip, one strong cut here, one right here, and then you can use the knife to prop open the foil, remove it, and she's just going to place it in her pocket to discard it. And then you'll want to take your serviette, which is uh, going to be just a small linen or napkin towel that you keep uh, with you for wine service, and wipe the top of the wine bottle to remove any debris or anything. And then you're going to begin opening it. You'll take the actual corkscrew part of your tool. And we use a waiter's corkscrew because this is a tool that you can use to actually open a bottle of wine without having to place it on the table. But uh, if you feel more comfortable keeping the wine bottle on the table, that's also fine. But you're going to try to angle it and put it right in the center. And then you're just going to twist it and try to go all the way down to the final rung and try to keep the label facing the hostess. There, we're going to take the first rung of the cork screw to use the leverage to pull that cork halfway out of there. You can also use your two hands for this one if you want to use that to secure. Also, use the second hand to kind of push this one onto the lip of the bottle here and pull that out halfway. And then you're going to use the second bit down here to finish pulling that out deliberately, slowly, and quietly. You don't want to make a pop on there. And we cut on the second lip uh, rather than the first lip, uh, just in case when you're pouring, you don't want to pour wine over the foil, have it come in contact with the metal as well. There may be any kind of debris or also the taste of metal part into the wine. And then you're going to remove cork and place it in front of the host for them to inspect. Uh, long ago this was done just to identify that it, the authenticity of the wine to make sure it was the, actually the wine and also you can check how to make sure the wine is stored correctly. Uh, you just want a nice moist and wine colored end make sure it's not too crumbly, moldy, or overly moist. And then you're going to begin by pouring a taste uh, for the hostess, try to keep the label facing them. Just going to pour about an ounce, an ounce or two and make sure to twist when you finish pouring to try and make sure that the stream gets cut off without spilling properly. And then you also take your serviette to make sure that you avoid any dripping. You can also wipe off after uh, every pour the top of that wine bottle. And then the host uh, will have an opportunity to taste and make sure the wine is to their liking. And once she's approved, uh, having tasted the wine, uh, that is fine. Uh, no off flavors present. You'll uh, continue pouring for the rest of the guests, going around the table clockwise, pouring ladies first. Uh, if you have to pass over some gentlemen, just remember to keep going all the way around the table again, uh, rather than double backing or turning around. And then you'll come back to uh, finish pouring for the host. 
Remember to wipe the top of the bottle each time. And also remember when you're pouring to gauge how many guests uh, you'll have. You want to ideally pour about four ounces per person. Uh, and, but if you have six people, ten people, remember to adjust that accordingly. That's something you'll learn uh, over time. And then once you finish pouring the host, uh, if the bottle is empty, you can offer a second bottle of wine or uh, let them look at the wine list again. But then once you're finished, you'll place the bottle on the table with the label facing the host. And you can also ask at this time uh, if you'd like to, if they would like you to take the cork out of their way rather than leave debris on the table. But some people may like to keep it uh, as a souvenir or to cork the wine if they plan on taking it home with them also. And then at this point, they'll make sure everything's right at the table. Always remember to have your glasses preset before you bring the bottle out to the table and that you have all of your tools and everything ready with you. And that is how to do bottle service.